Food culture to lifestyle? It's time for another refreshing break in your day. Soda City Live starts right now. Welcome back. The 100 Black Men of Greater Columbia Incorporated strives to improve the quality of life for citizens within our communities with a special emphasis on our youth, particularly in the areas of mentoring, education, economics, financial literacy, health, and wellness. It's a lot to cover, but they're doing a great job doing that. So they're getting ready to celebrate this year's class of mentees with their annual scholarship and awards banquet. Joining us today with more from 100 Black Men of Greater Columbia Incorporated is Vice President Jamie Devine. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for, for letting, letting me be here today. Yeah, and you know what? You came here, you're representing. That's right. Let's talk about um, this lunch or this brunch that's going to be happening this weekend, but also yes. the Lunch Buddy program in general. Yes. Let's start there. So the Lunch Buddies program is a program we've been doing since 1999. Uh, we were founded in 1963 in New York, but the Columbia Chapter was founded here in 1999. It's a program program where we bring uh, youth from the surrounding school districts, uh, Richland 1, Richland 2, Lex 5, all the Lexingtons, Fairfield, um, and we bring them in and we mentor them uh, from the gentlemen that's in our organization. Um, we also bring in guest speakers, we also bring in others from the community that can help us talk to our young, young men about life, mm. things that happen to us uh, once we grow up and we graduate from high school and, and or from college, and we help them get into college, and which brings us to our scholarship. Um, um, on, on tomorrow, a scholarship um, and awards banquet on tomorrow. Yes, you so. guys do s such great work and to the point where a lot of the young men mm -hmm. that are in the program, when they get older, they become a part of the program. Yes. Um, yeah. Talk about uh, this weekend. So tomorrow at uh, 12 o'clock mm -hmm. at the Granary, uh, 2638 Two Notch Road at the Old Midland Shopping Center, we're having our annual scholarship and awards um, luncheon. We're gonna honor um, some former educators we're going to uh, have Dr. G.R. Green, who's the superintendent of uh, Fairfield County Schools. He will be our guest speaker. And we will honor our young men and also our collegiate chapter here at Benedict College. Uh, we have some young people graduating a as well, and so we want to honor them as well. And so it's just a grand time we do every year. Um, it's also a fundraiser for us, also for persons who want to come and just enjoy a good scholarship um, lunch uh, with us on tomorrow. And we're, we're going to get the details for anyone that wants to attend that as well. But we had an opportunity uh, a couple seconds ago to look at some of the events that you all do with the mentees in the programs yes. that you have. They get to go on some amazing trips. Talk about some of those trips. They do. So once a year we have our annual conference. Last year we went to Las Vegas. This year we're back in Atlanta, wow. which is home for, for the 100 Black Men of, of, of America. And so uh, we've been to uh, Louisiana. We've been to, um, uh, let me see, Texas, just all over the country. Uh, and we take these young men out. They also compete in our um, Dallas and Cents um, program with State Farm. Also compete with our financial literacy program with Wells Fargo. Uh, so we have different partners across the country and across the state of South Carolina that help us put this on each and every year. I love that. And Jamie, you mentioned um, the different school districts that are involved. Yes. Um, how, how are children selected and, or, or how can children or the young men get involved? So basically it's uh, middle school, uh, so sixth grade through 12th grade, mm -hmm. and it's up to the school. We leave it up to the okay. school to pick the young men that they bring to us and we mentor them uh, on an ongoing basis. We do have a Saturday Academy. Uh, same thing, uh, it's up to the school to yeah. provide those uh, young men to us and we, uh, as other men, older men in, in the community, mentor those young young men. Amazing, and speaking of great mentees that have come from this program, I do want to give a shout out to a producer who actually was a part yeah. of this program. He's a product of that program as well. So of course, the gentlemen go on to do amazing yes. things and yes. continue to do amazing things. Yes. Um, any any activities happening um, this summer or, or is there any ways that any adults can volunteer or get involved as well? So basically Basically, for the summer, we take a few months off, mm -hmm. if you will, because most kids yeah. are out of school. Yeah. Um, we did our last lunch, but it's this uh, past April. We mm -hmm. thank Brooklyn Baptist Church, who's one, one of our sponsors. Pastor Jackson uh, is one of our members, and mm -hmm. he allows us to use the Banquet and Conference Center. And so for the summer, we're getting ready to go to Atlanta uh, in June, and then in July, August, we kind of prepare for the next year. So September through April, we are preparing for lunch buddies and the other opportunities that our young men uh, may have in, in, the, in the community. That sounds good. Now, if any adult wants to become oh, okay. a part of the 100 Black Men or if they want to volunteer, how can they do so? So if they want to, any adult want to volunteer with us, um, they can call uh, my number at my <laughs> office, 803-771-0050. Um, or we have a, a Gmail account, service at 
100 black men of Greater Columbia and we can get them involved um, that way. Oh, sounds good. Is there anything else that you would like our viewers to know about any events that you may have coming up maybe after the summer or in general? Um, no, I think, you know, pretty much in the fall, we'll yeah. kind of get back mm -hmm. going again. So right, right now is kind of our time to just reflect, yeah. evaluate this past year and we move forward as we plan for the fall for our young people as, as they come back to school in September, August. Awesome. Well, Jamie, thank you so much for joining us and sharing the details for this amazing event that's going to be happening this weekend, celebrating young men that are part of this program. Um, again, this is going to be Saturday, May 4th yes. at 12 p.m. at the um, the event center that you see there. My, I am near sighted, so I can't <laughs> <laughs> is at the Granary. Um, yes. We'll be sure to have these details on our website, SodaCityLive.com, and also on our Facebook page, Soda City Living. Make sure to follow us there if you're not already so that you can get these details. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back with more. Jamie, thanks again. Thank you.